गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू द डेली लीड कोड चैलेंज ऑफ 17 जनवरी 2023 दैट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर 926 फ्लिप स्ट्रिंग टू मोनोटोन इंक्रीजिंग सो लेट अस रीड द क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन इज सेइंग अ बाइनरी स्ट्रिंग इज मोनोटोन इंक्रीजिंग इफ इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ सम नंबर ऑफ जीरोस आल्सो पॉसिबली नन फॉलोड बाय सम नंबर ऑफ वंस आल्सो पॉसिबली नन यू आर गिवन अ बाइनरी स्ट्रिंग एस यू कैन फ्लिप एस आई चेंजिंग आइटम फ्रॉम 0 टू 1 or 1 to 0 okay and we have to return the number of flips to make as monotone increasing so what they are saying is that they have given you a string s which have zeros and ones and we have to make it monotone increasing so monotone increasing means zeros are followed by one that is zero should not be repeated after a one okay or either it can all be zero or either all be one okay so that is monotone increasing that is After one, there should not be a zero. That is what they want to convey you by monotone increasing. So, how do we approach it? Let us see some examples. So, here in the first example, what choice we have? We can make this zero as one, this zero as one, and this zero as one. So, we have to make three flips. But is that optimal? No, na. So, what we can do? We can check whether when it is zero no issues when they are one okay one and after one there is zero that should not be the case so we will just change this one, zero to one so there are there is only one flip so what is the minimum of these two it is one so answer should be one flip okay now move on to the second example in the second example what choices we have we can change this zero to one this zero to one and this zero to one that is three choices or we can change this 1 to 0 1 to 0 and 1 to 0 that is also three choices but 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 what else we can do we can either change this 1 to 0 that is one choice and we can change this last 0 to 1 that is another choice so total choices are two that can also be done now let's see the third example in the third example what choices we have we can either change this 0 this 0 this 0 and these three 0 to One that is total how much three plus three, uh six, but uh, there are optimal ways available. So what we will check? There are zeros only, no issues. When there are one, okay, no issues. When there are zero again, we can change the zero. So now it is reduced to three. But is there any other way possible? Yes. If we change these two one to zero, then there are only two flips required. So that would be optimal. So that is how you have to think and approach this question. So I request you all to please try this question on your own and then come back to the video. So I hope you have tried the question on your own. So now let us see the best optimal approach for this. So what we can do, we can do nothing when there's a zero available and whenever there's a one, we will get the count of one. Let us write it as zero. And when after the one, when there is a zero available, we will flip it. Okay. So count one, count one. So count one is two, and then after that there is a zero, and if our count one is not equal to zero, then we will flip the zero. So this zero will change to one, and our flip count will become one. So what's the minimum of one and two? What's the minimum between count one and count flip? It is count flip. So our answer would be one. Let us see it in the second case. In the second case, what we have to do? Zero is there, then there's a one. So our count one become one. Then there's a zero, and it is not equal to zero. So what we have to do? We have to increase our count flip, and we will make it to one. So we will change it to one. After that there's a one. Yes. So we will add. So there are two ones, and after that there's a also one. So it becomes three ones, and after that we have a zero. So we will flip it and make it one. So our count flip will become one plus one equal to two. So that is our answer. Now let's see the third example. In this example, three zeros, nothing to do. Then after that there is one. So count one will become one. Then after that one more one. So it will become two. And after that there are there is a zero. So we have to flip it. When it is not equal to zero, count one is not equal to zero. We can flip it. So what we are getting one. We we flip it one time. Then there is again a zero. So one plus one. Then again a zero, then one plus one. So total is three. So what is minimum of these two? It is two. So we change these two ones 
and flip them to make them zero. So that is the best optimal approach. Okay. So now let's try coding it. Okay. Let me just zoom it for you. If you have understood the approach optimally, so you should try to code this on your own. But if you have tried it already and unable to do that, then see the video. So what we will do, we will create two variables that is int count one that will store the count of ones and it should be initialized with zero and int count flip that will store the count of flip and it also should be initialized with zero. Then what we will do, we will iterate the string. So for iterating the string, what we will do, we will create a for loop for int i is equal to zero, i less than string dot size. This gives the size of string and we are iterating through it. And now what we will do, we will check if the string is equal to equal to one, then what we will do? We will increment our count one count. And if it is not equal to one, then what we will do? Will we increase the count flip? No, we will check whether count one is greater than zero or not. That means that we haven't encountered this zero. We are going with these zeros only. So then we don't increase our flip count. But when we have encountered these ones, then we have to increase the flip. Yes or no? Because we have to make it monotonic. Okay. So if count one is greater than zero, then only we will increase our count flip. And when this all is done, what we have to do? We will check which of them is minimum. If count one is less than count flip, that means count flip is more. So we will update our count flip to count one. And when this all is done, we will simply return our count flip. So this was as simple as this. Okay. Let us just run this and see whether it is working or not. So yeah, it is getting accepted. Let's just submit it. So yeah, it is accepted. So I hope you have understood the question. So the time complexity for this will be O and because we are only treating one loop and space complexity will be constant. Okay. So to show you, I will write this code in another way and you have to tell whether you understood it or not. We can reduce all this step because the string is containing only zeros and ones. Okay. So what we can do, we can write it as else. We will update our count flip to minimum of count one and plus plus count flip okay so you tell me whether you are understanding it or not the approach is similar it is a homework for you okay so please do that and the space complexity in this case will also be constant and time complexity is also o of n let's run and check whether it is working or not so yeah it is also running and check whether it is accepted so yeah, it is also accepted. Huh? So you tell whether you can write the similar code in this way or not. Okay. So it is a homework for you. So all the best. Thank you for watching the video. Please like, share and subscribe and make sure to check out our Instagram as well. Once again, thank you for watching. Bye bye.